weather 2009, 2010, what's going to happen? Well, here's what we think is going to happen. We are entering a mild El Nino winter. And what that means is that the temperatures are looking to be a little bit warmer. And it's the temperatures out here in the Pacific. We've got warmer waters off the western coast of South America. And that's what determines our El Nino or La Nina year. And this year, we are entering a mild El Nino year. All right, this phenomenon causes global weather changes. But here at home, here is what it causes. Typically, what you're going to find or temperatures around our neck of the woods and farther to the north and to the west into the upper central plains a little warmer than average. Overall winter temperatures should be on the order of 1 to 2, possibly 3 degrees above average of what we would normally see for the winter. Consequently, farther to the south, states like Florida, New Mexico, Arizona, they see temperatures a little bit cooler than average. Let's talk precipitation. As far as snowfall amounts, rain and ice, all of that combined, we typically find less precipitation through an El Nino season for the winter. Consequently, again, farther to the south where their temperatures are cooler, they actually get more precipitation during this season. Well, let's break this down a little bit further as far as what type of precipitation. A normal winter for us, not an El Nino, not a La Nina, a normal winter would give us 18 inches of snow and a little less than 5 inches of icing, sleet, freezing rain, all of that combined. Well, this year, this year it looks like with the temperatures a little bit warmer for us, possibly bringing down our snowfall totals, the unfortunate part is increasing our ice totals. And by that I mean it looks like we could see more sleet issues, we could see more freezing rain issues, definitely something we are going to keep an eye on. With more on the outlook, an extended outlook, a detailed extended outlook, don't forget to join us tomorrow night when Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orbert brings out his official winter forecast.